Welcome back, everybody, to Quarantine Cooking, episode 11. My name is Chef Mark Segovia. We're here in beautiful Gilroy, California, at this beautiful building, the Neon Exchange with Tony Bowles. This is a beautiful kitchen. Thank you for having us, Tony. Thank you for letting us always come in here and no come up with these beautiful creations, everybody. So today on the menu, we got something really good. We got a flat iron steak. I know we did uh, skirt steak a couple of weeks ago. Uh, we wanted to try another steak again. It's getting hot out there. Wanted to get something simple, something quick for the kids. I know summer started, they're still at home. So we wanted to make some nice quick dinners for, for the moms and dads to make for the kids out there. Or even Father's Day's coming, ladies. Father's Day's coming up in two weeks. So this is something good, nice and healthy for the dad also. Uh, we're also going to do it with a charred corn arugula salad. So that's going to be also wonderful on the side with a nice lemon vinaigrette. Uh, we do want to give a shout out to Andrea Nicolette at the Hi, YMCA. Andrea. How you doing, Andrea? Um, hope you're doing good out there. And if you need anything, we're here. We haven't heard from you, but we're thinking of you. We do have a special guest today. We do have uh, somebody that's been really busy the last couple of years here in Gilroy. We have wonderful Mayor Roland Velasco. Hi, Hi Mayor. Hello, hello. Looking good. Thank you so much for the invitation. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. And you're looking forward to tasting it as well, I'm right? really, really looking forward <laughs> to tasting it. This menu is just for you. Perfect, perfect. This sounds great. Okay, thanks. So we're going to get ready. We're going to have uh, Mayor here helping us out. So we're going to see what his culinary expertise is. We're going to get him chopping, cutting, <laughs> sauteing. I'm just playing. <laughs> Lately, we had him going. But let's walk this way. We're going to get ready. And we'll get going. Okay. So here we go. We're gonna start off with a couple of things we gotta do. You can make sure your oven's on at 350. So after you sear the steak, you throw it right into the oven, you guys. Uh, three, 350 would be perfect. That's ideal temperature for that. What we're gonna do is start off with our corn. We have a nice white corn. I went ahead and cleaned it up. I think uh, I got this at Knob Hill. I think they were 47 cents each. So Knob Hill right here. Uh, what we're gonna do is get a chart. Come on closer over here. This is not boiled or anything, uh, just fresh. Okay. And we're gonna get this one high. And all you're gonna do is throw it right onto the flame. Chef, does one uh, cob like serve like a cup? Or does that make up like, I don't even know. About a cup, it's gonna be about a cup, yes. And then, and we'll, we'll, somebody asked me, somebody asked me, do you boil it ahead of time, get it soft? No. No, you just leave it just like that. Let it cook, let it get brown. And while that's going, we're gonna get our flat top ready for our steak. Okay. We're gonna get that on high. And you can hear it pop like popcorn almost, just keep an eye on it. And that's what we're looking for, some of that darker stuff. But what that's doing, it's also cooking it inside. So we're gonna want a good char on it, we want a good color. What do you think, Mary, you ever done this before? No, I've never done this before. <laughs> nice, so you can go home and uh, surprise the wife after. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I'm kind of waiting for the uh, fire alarm to go off. <laughs> Can you grab me the steak there, uh, Mayor, please? So we got a little bit of oil. One thing real quick is you don't put no oil on this. Okay. The reason you don't put oil on it is because it'll get smoky. It'll burn, it'll burn the, the corn. Just so y'all know, the finger shoes right there. <laughs> so we got this going. We're going to get this really hot until you see the, you're going to see it smoking. Then we're going to get a good sear in the steak. Look at this beautiful steak. I, it's a nice flat iron. Nice. So this is gonna be this is gonna be your uh, shoulder cut. Okay. It's gonna be more the shoulder blade. This is what they'll call the shoulder blade. Also, it's gonna be the shoulder of the cow. Last time we did the skirt, which can be more on this side of the of the cow. So this is also very tender. Um, how do you like your steak? Medium rare. Medium perfect. And mm -hmm. you? Uh, medium rare. Medium well. rare. There we go. And you salt and peppered it. Before salt and it? pepper. That's it. You just salt. rubbed it. Yeah, just rubbed it with salt and pepper. That's it. Okay. Feel free to put. Uh, Garlic powder, onion powder, whatever you want. I'm real old school, I just put salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. You can see my mix here, what I have, salt and pepper mix. Okay. There we go. And we have these wonderful Thai chilies we're gonna be using today. I got some baby arugula, uh, some cilantro, red onion. We got a good, some good stuff going today. Okay. You barbecue at all, Mir? Yeah, yeah, I do, as a matter of fact, so. Would we be able to throw this steak on a barbecue cut? Well, definitely. Well, definitely. Uh, get it. Uh, you, you can smoke, finish it off real high heat, mm -hmm. uh, direct heat. You finish it off, maybe take it off the heat to finish off the inside. Okay. This is what we're looking for. You see that? Nice char. Nice char on that. Char means black. Like, it's not, I'm not, not burnt. you shouldn't be scared of it. Yeah, yeah. Get it dark. You want it dark. You want to get it nice and dark. 
Uh, that's where all the flavor comes in, the smokiness. Mm -hmm. Also, it's going to be cooking inside, get that sweetness out. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Sweet. Very nice. Very nice. So, Very nice. Mayor, as this uh, sip subsides, what's the one thing you're looking forward to? As the sip, the shelter oh, in place shelter subsides, in place. you know, um, or just the little things that you're looking forward to? You know, to? I, I think. I think everybody, myself included, yeah. is just suffering from um, cabin fever. Mm -hmm. And so we really want to just get back outside, try to get back to something that resembles normal. Mm -hmm. You know, just the social interaction, going out, having a nice lunch somewhere, having a cocktail, doing whatever, interacting with people. And then, of course, doing some shopping. Yes. Know? So I think that's what people are really looking for. Yeah, I could totally agree with you because I remember when we first started. Oh, nice. When we first started, um, I can't tell you how much joy being in a room with chef and a guest brought to me. Because the whole week I was just sort of, you know, hunkering down with the family. Yeah. And then being out and having that social interaction and laughing and just doing what we're doing with the banter right now. It just brought so much joy to my heart. Well, that's just it, you know. I mean, at, at the tour, we're social beings, you know, and and so we want to be able to interact with others. And yeah. That's, that's the challenge right now. Yep. So I know you're not going to be ready next for re-election, Mayor. No, no. Get some no. time off finally, huh? Well yeah, deserved time off. It's, it was uh, this past year has been very tough on me and the family, and I talked to my wife about it, and it just wasn't for us anymore. Yeah. We'll still, you'll still be a part of everything and in our thoughts and, and definitely a part of all the stuff that goes on down here. Oh, I'm Especially still at the be, Neon. Yeah, yeah, I'm still going to be around. So. Yeah. Have you ever had a flat iron steak, Mayor? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, a, it's, a, it's a good cut of meat. And it's not that expensive. Mm -hmm. No, no, not at all. This would feed a good two people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This, look at this. This is what we're looking for, guys. Okay. Yeah. Going. We get a little more of these little corners right here. We used to do this all the time with uh, the company that I used to work with to make salsas. Mm -hmm. uh, we'd have to roast everything from scratch. Oh, wow. That steak smelling good. We're looking about two minutes on each side. Look at that. That's what you're looking for right there. Sealing yeah. it all the flavor. So good. Sealing it. Uh, just gonna seal it. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. Then we're going to put it right in the oven for about uh, five minutes. So it's a two-step process. Exactly, exactly. Okay. That's why it's good to use a pan. You can just put it right into the oven. Okay. So does it matter um, whether you're, you're season and then uh, wipe or, or put um, the oil on top of the steak, or should you just put it on top of the you can put it on. You can put it with it. Uh -huh. Yeah, you could get like a... Uh, Oil it, salt and pepper, garlic powder, whatever. Right, right. Then put it on there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And that's what we're looking for right there, you guys. Put the wonderful flavors. I like that smokiness. So I'll show you what we're going to do with that right after. Let's take a look at this steak. Okay. It smells so good in here. Just, there's a good steak, salt and pepper. You can't go wrong. Uh -huh. You cannot go wrong. Did you have to trim it at all when you were prepping no, it? No, this I, I I bought it already trimmed and cleaned. Okay. Um, if you do get it from from a different stage, you will have to clean a little bit. But this is a very uh, I don't have too much fat on it. Okay. Now, chef, uh, before we were talking about you know whether I cook or not, yeah. one of the things that I've been trying to do lately is bringing the meat to room temperature exactly. and then patting it down, exactly. which is something I've never done before. Exactly. What you want to do, because what that does is, what that does is, the inside is going to be cold, like say you pull that front of the fridge like I just uh -huh. did. If you have time, you take it to room temperature, it gets it all perfect room temperature. So when you're searing it, it's all going to cook more evenly. Oh, okay. That's a good All right. You need a drink of water yet? You doing okay? I'm doing fine. I got my water right So here you go. Look at this beautiful sear, you guys. Let's come closer. Look at that. That's what you're looking for right there. That's beautiful. What do you think, Mayor? That looks perfect. So we're going to turn this off, and we're going to put it right into the oven. So we went ahead and turned off this fire. We're going to get this and put it right into the oven. There we 
there we go. And that's it right now, it's rare, sear. So you wanna leave it in there for about a good, you're looking about good, we'll check it in four minutes. Four minutes and it cook really fast. Okay. So as that's going, we have our, our corn already charred, nice char there. We're gonna just let it rest there, let it cool off a little bit. I'm gonna grab my mixing bowl, we're gonna start our sauce off. Let's turn off this pan. You can pour it by yourself. Probably. It's out of control over here. So we're gonna start our sauce, you guys. Here we go. Okay. We got some nice Thai chilies. Feel free to use uh, solano, jalapenos, anything you want, you guys. Anything you want on there. Salt, pepper, Gilroy garlic, of course. Some lemon and some onion. There we go. And last is olive oil. And I think I forgot to put olive oil on the list of ingredients. I'm getting better with this olive oil this time. I think every week I forget one thing I tell you. <laughs> Golly. So we're going to use half of this. And remember the old dice, you guys? Real dice. Wanna, I want this nice and small. So if they make the lines, you're just making the lines like this. Lines. And you come down on it. And here's your dice. Very nice. You like that one? Yeah. There we go. Look at that. Nice and dicey. Have you used this yet at home, Tony? I have. You do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I use that trick. I use the high with the salty. There you go. Go the high. Gotta go high. Gotta go high. So we'll put this to the side over here. We're gonna put some of that Gilroy garlic in there. You wanna come closer and take a look at this, Tony? Now, how much garlic is that? That is about uh, about two tablespoons. And use as much as, as if you like a lot of garlic, put a lot. If you don't like a lot, mm -hmm. uh, don't use too much. So we'll use Thai peppers. I'm gonna get these really thin. These are not. These are have the same here as the serrano, a little different flavor. I really enjoy these, these are really, really good. They look scary. Where did you pick them up? I got these at the local grocery store. Okay. I think my whole, the, I bought a whole little bunch for 40 cents. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Mayor? Are you freaking out? No, no, no. Does it matter if the seeds are in or out? Or um, I think the seeds in, it adds a little bit of more heat, but it's not, like I said, this this chili is not really that spicy. Okay. All right. I mean, and, it, and of course, it differs, differs for everybody. There we go. So right now we have the onions, mm -hmm. garlic, and chilies in there. Okay. And I'll, that's all the chili I'll put in there right now. I'm going to use some lemon. A little bit of salt and pepper mix. So you can taste it after and flavor it as you, as you like. Mm -hmm. Cilantro. I love cilantro. I think we use it every week. Huh? Almost every week. <laughs> How are you on cilantro, Mir? You okay good, with that? Good, okay. yeah. Is there anything that you don't like, preferably, that you don't really eat? or? Well, my wife complains I don't eat enough vegetables. There. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Ms. Velasco, I got go. a salad for him today. We got a salad for him. Arugula, of all things. <laughs> Don't get the seeds in your eyes. I know, <laughs> I know. Lemon juice? We'll do one whole lemon in there. And last would be some olive oil. It's almost like a, the chimichurri you made. Oh, yeah. Almost like that. And what we're going to do now is get a little mix. Real fresh, real clean. How's that look? There it's fantastic. I think we can add one more chili. What do you think? Sure, go for it. I like the red one. They give it character. The red. <laughs> have you ever always uh, have you always been into politics, Mary, or just? Uh, no, I've actually. Well, I've actually in high school I realized that the only subjects that I found interesting was history and politics. Oh, and you like? Yeah. Navigated yeah. towards that. Yeah. So. There we go. Look at that. Real simple, real easy. You can use parsley if you want, any kind of chilies. 
The red onions, um, I keep saying this every week, the red onions are more for your salads, dressings. Uh, you don't really want to saute these. Okay. Uh, the saute ones, you want to use your, your white and your yellow. Yeah, mm -hmm. these are more the fresher, the crisper, a little cleaner that you would use for your salads. We're also going to use this for our salads also. So that's why I only use half. We're going to leave the other half when we make our little salad right now. So let's get this in here, and then we're going to check the meat, you guys. So here we are, guys, with our charred corn, and I'm going to show you how to make the salad here. We're going to start off with the charred corn. Real easy. It's charred, so we're just going to slice it down. I've done this to make salsas. Uh, I made charred corn empanadas. Oh, wow. I mixed this with some sour cream, some cream cheese, some Monterey Jack, and stuff in empanadas. Delicious. So here we go. I'm going to do this. And we're just going to crush it up. You want to come a little closer to yep. how that is? There's the texture. There we go. See that beautiful color? You get the nice sweetness of the corn. You get the smokiness. It's been charred. There you go. You want to try that one out? Yeah. Get a little piece there. And it's good. It's soft. It's very soft. Wow, and people good. think you have to boil it ahead of time. I'm like, no, you don't have to. So we'll do a couple of tomatoes here. Also, we're going to do our uh, maybe arugula. Feel free to use any lettuce you want. Uh, at the farmer's market, they have wonderful uh, dandelion greens right now. Um, they have all these wonderful greens out there. Feel free. Definitely visit uh, Sal at the farmer's market for all your farmer's market needs. We're going to do some tomatoes. We're going to put it all in here to get a good little mix. How are you with salads? We're getting good, there? We're getting good, there? Good, yeah. yeah. Salads are okay. <laughs> Couple more tomatoes. And we're gonna be checking our steak right now. It's been going for about nine minutes right now. Uh, we're looking for medium rare. I don't know what's wrong with this. There we go. Medium rare, so it's about another two minutes out, then we'll, we'll get it out. There we go. A little bit of salt and pepper. That's what people always forget to do to their salads. A little salt and pepper. I forget about that too. Just squeeze the lemon. We're going to keep this fresh. There we go. We've got a good little mix here. Look at that. Look at this wonderful salad. Take a look here. You get all the wonderful colors. You get the red, you get the char, you get the corn. That's pretty. The fresh uh, uh, baby arugula. Let's get this out of the way. Hey, can you put this in the fridge for us? We're going to keep that cool. We're going to clean up real quick and we're going to check our steak, you guys. So here we go, we're going to take a look at the steak. We're looking for medium rare. Here we go. I'm going to pull that out. That looks wonderful. As you can see, the nice sear to it. Uh -huh. And another indicator that's going to be medium rare is you see the blood coming out right there. Let's see those juices. Mm -hmm. Whenever it hits medium rare, you'll, that's when it starts releasing the blood out. So this is definitely going to be a medium rare. So you just want to look for a little uh, opaque, a little bit of the redness coming out of the steak. That's what we're looking for right there. We're going to transfer it right here. We're going to let it rest for about two minutes, and we'll show you how it looks inside, you guys. So here we go, this wonderful piece right here. We're looking for medium rare. We're going to cut this in half. Right there. Let me see. So a little uh, very light. And you can see the grain goes this way. You can see that grain? Mm -hmm. It's going that way. So you're going to want to cut this way right here okay. against the grain. So what we're going to do is cut right here. It smells so good. Are you ready to try this? I am ready to try it. So we're going to get this sliced up and we're going to get this all plated right here. You excited to try this? Are you trying this, Tony? Yes, I'm trying it. Who's the sampler today? So in, in front of the camera, Mayor Velasco, since he's our honorable guest, will be sampling. But I will test it out behind the camera. And then we'll send the rest home to Mrs. Velasco. <laughs> there we go. So we're going to get set up with a plate. We're going to serve it right now, everybody. So here we go with our beautiful steak, nice and cut. We're going to rest right here. Can you, uh, Mayor, can you grab me that salad? I have a wonderful assistant over here. <laughs> 
He's my personal Vanna White. Wow. Vanna, there we go. And we're just doing a couple of slices here. Real thin. That's what we're looking for right there. Get some color in there. Just like that. So we're going to start plating here. I'm going to come a little closer here, Tony. We have our wonderful salad. And this just has salt, pepper, and lime juice in that. Look at that. There we go. Perfect for a hot summer day. Yes, definitely. I agree. We're going to do our steak. And our wonderful sauce here. What do you think, Mayor? It looks delicious. And voila, there we go. You want to come take a little, get that camera a little closer here? Yes, yes, yes. Look how wonderful it is. You get the nice char of the, the corn, fresh tomatoes, arugula. Get the sauce that has a little spice to it, not too much. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to have um, the fresh onion on top of that with the cilantro and the wonderful steak at the bottom of that. That's a beautiful. Definitely. Beautiful so we're going to have the taster right now. Come along and we'll get ready to rock and roll here. Okay. So here we go. What do you think, Mary? The little, how's the flavor of that? Kick. You get that nice, uh, not too spicy. You get the nice freshness, all really fresh. Great summer recipe right here, you guys. Do we get the thumbs up here? Got a great thumbs up. This is fantastic. The meat is very, very tender. And then just the freshness of the um, of the salad. The corn is great. And it's got just a hint of heat to it. Perfect. So it mm -hmm. rests right there on your tongue. Perfect. Well, That's thank nice. you. Thank you for coming out today yes, again. thank you. Thank you for joining us. And I hope you enjoy your meal. Thank you, Mayor. Right thank here. You. Give me knuckles. There we go. Thank you, everybody, for joining us today. Thank you for our special guest. Thank you for everybody viewing, viewing in to Quarantine Cooking, Episode 11. And we'll see you next week for number 12. Yes, we will. Bye.